Hello everybody, this is Josh Explay Place and today we continue to grow and expand our city of Port Austin in Cities Skylines 2 in this episode number 10. In our last episode we were able to place uh, down our first bus station and we drew three different bus lines that go outside of city limits. We also fixed some stuff in terms of traffic and pedestrian traffic basically doing an overpass and today we're going to try to continue increasing our residential areas to start laying down our railways and also to deal with garbage so hopefully we can do a little bit of everything so let's begin and here's the intersection that we fixed of course this overpass doesn't look uh, that nice and I agree I think the first thing that we need to understand is that when we lay down these pathways these walkways basically what we have to do is to place them at least one square away from the actual road because otherwise we won't have the connection to the road as opposed to what happened in City Skylines 1. And what I mean is that we can place this here and there's not going to be a connection into the, the road, basically. That's a big, a, big of a, a big of an issue and we'll have to fix this later. But we actually have to move the hospital and that's something that I don't want to do right now because it's going to cost us some money. So I'm going to continue uh, fast forwarding that. What I am going to do is to change this just a little bit uh, the way that this one-way street I mean uh, asymmetrical road works but let me find out how I'm gonna be able to do it so let's try it again and there you go and that way whenever we have a street like this or this street specifically we take advantage of having of only being able to have three lanes and basically on this side, on the left side, we're going to have two lanes on the right. And in this one, we're also going to have two lanes on the right. And that's going to help with traffic. I do dislike the fact that on like City Skylines 1, we don't have a road like this, a small road like this that can accommodate up to four lanes. And I think that's, you know, that's a negative on, on the developers for that. Uh, again, we don't have as many assets that we actually use in this game compared to what we have in Cities Skylines 1. We, and I think, and maybe not this week, but next week we'll definitely, might want to start a new city in Cities Skylines 1, just to go back and see how the game is doing. Uh, and also to challenge ourselves and in playing both games basically at the same time. So again, the biggest issue that we have in here is garbage. I think that we need to figure out what we're going to do. And I believe that we decided to do is basically to plop down a, another recycling center. So that's what we're going to do. It's not as expensive as the incinerator plant and definitely uh, more uh, better for the environment as the landfill, which we actually have in there. So let's place this one here. And we also are gonna add the other truck people, the expansion. And we will wait to do the extra hazardous expansion, right? We we wanna wanna make sure that uh, we don't overdo it. And I think we're gonna be doing just just well. And look at all these beautiful garbage trucks going into the city to help with garbage especially in the larger buildings such as you know the uh, skyscrapers as well as the mines hopefully that's going to help us a lot right and so we'll figure out let's pause the game really quick and we are going to need another water pump and maybe just for right now, we'll add another water pump here. Uh, 
and that is helping out a lot again we're doing well now with water and sewage so we should not worry about that for the time being and i don't think it's a bad idea to have another of these uh pumping stations in here so that's good we took care of that we also have issues again with waiting for ambulances i don't know why there's not really that much traffic in here that can uh, make this an issue uh, we also haven't dispatched all the the ambulances i mean there's supposed to be 31 vehicles um so i don't know what's going on what we uh, what we might want to do is to place down another another clinic we'll do just the regular medical clinic and let's place it in um where can we place it let's let's place it let's do it here and let's add the extra ambulance depot and as you can see it's already it's already doing that i'll we'll, we'll try to figure out why that happens again there, we shouldn't have any issues uh maybe it's the garbage piling up and hopefully this nice recycling center is gonna help and let's make sure that we have that we're making we're making enough money for now uh again we were making twice that amount but also we haven't grown the city one bit and as you can see here we're already having issues with high rent so let's try can we uh, we might destroy this a little bit but let's do this and eh, that wasn't such a big game but still let's just zone this for low density and i think that's gonna be it for now so what i want to do right now is try to figure out how we're gonna deal with this we can do a curb road we can do we can continue doing this straight road which is what we let, let's try right now to see how good or bad that could be and maybe maybe that can work so let's do that like this and now we're gonna see i'm more than sure we're gonna see an increase in traffic in that area and let's put down another road like this and one like this <laughs> we try to make this road actually work without having issues like this again i hate that um but it is what it is and i don't know if we we should continue this road let's let's try just right now and see where it could take us um let's continue going and going and it can take us all the way all the way here um let's try it again and i know i'm gonna destroy just a little bit of this road but that's fine <laughs> this too much but i think it's fine for now uh, sure we'll try to figure out what to do with this one but what we need to do is to have all this area be low density residential and that's what we are gonna work on in just a moment again i 
kind of don't like this, especially because I don't know how bad traffic might get. Um, again, it's just so weird. Uh, let's first of all let's take off these traffic lights. There you go. And eh, we'll figure it out. I think that's that's good for now. Um, and we should be able to have another another bus line in here. And we definitely have to expand the one that we have this area. But let me work on creating a subdivision, a new neighborhood in here, and we'll be back. <laughs> That took a little bit longer than I would have liked, but again, uh, just laying down roads is kind of not difficult. It's just you want to give every time you do another another neighborhood, another subdivision, you want to make sure that it has its own personality. And even then, uh, like right now, you're seeing I forgot to do uh, some of the extra work. So let me just finish it right now. But I think this new neighborhood ended up uh, nice enough to have everybody be happy in this area so we placed a little a little park we placed the elementary school which already filled because remember we have a need for a lot of elementary schools so let's add another one in here and we'll make sure to add the extra uh, the extension wings as well as this children's clinic we'll place it here and this playground and since i think that it's as much as we're gonna place in here so we also need to add some more trees i think that's gonna give a little bit more personality this park let's add also some hickory and that should work really well 
those exercises. And as you can see, this one also filled up really, really, really fast. Now I think we need to figure out where we want to put the the high school because again, as we can see here, we are in a lot of need for everything education. There's 23,000 eligible students. We only have capacity for 8,600. We have 86,000 eligible students. We only have capacity for 15 uh, college and university. We don't even have that much. So let's at least add another high school and we'll add the urban high school. And I think that's gonna go, that's gonna go really well in this area. And we'll place it here. And that's going to give us an extra 800. And I'm sure this extension floor is going to give us 400. And then we're going to add the rooftop sports park. And you know what? Maybe we can actually move it. Can we place it here? Uh, yeah, I think this is going to be a better place. So we can continue having some more commercial zoning in here. So let's see what we're going to be able to place. Let's, let's redraw it again. So we can make this a little bit nicer. So we have one and two. And let's just put it here. And yes, we can add an intersection here. And let's see if we can do the same for another one and two. And sure, that worked pretty, pretty much really well. And let's add another couple of blocks here. And we're going to take off this light, all the lights here. And we're also going to do a little bit of uh, beautification in this area. So we're going to put the grass and the trees, at least just on this one. And we do have good demand for commercial. I also want to put a little, it's not such a little one, but it's a small plaza. And I think this is going to be it. I just want to add a pathway and I'm gonna put it like this that should be good enough so let's do we're gonna do let's do high density on this one and here and we are gonna need a parking so let's do this underground parking and we'll do low density here and here and I think that's gonna work that's gonna work well enough for now let's make sure that this one has no charges and as you can see we're already increasing our monthly balance so we're doing we're doing pretty well and yes we will have a lot of traffic in here because well first of all there shouldn't be a light in this area so let's take that off and yeah as you can see it's already starting to move along so i think that's gonna work really well i don't think putting a roundabout here is a good idea yet um maybe we can put the large one it's too big let's let's put the medium one and, and let's also change this road into one that has a medium median and let's put some grass let's finish putting some grass on this side and in here and some trees here and here I think the last thing we're going to do is to, I don't know where we need to continue this road. Let's see how this one is going to go. Uh, let's put it in here. I think this is good enough. And once again, let's make sure that there's no traffic lights. 
and we're focusing in here a little bit more because we want to make sure that we have uh, continue accruing money we have the population is dying i don't know why it's lowering so we'll take a look in just a little bit but let's see what else we can do in here let's put a a walkway and let's fill this with first of all we're gonna do the surfaces we're gonna do just regular concrete okay and we are gonna do uh let's do high density let's see what can be built in there i think it's gonna be a great place for people to come and shop in here We might want to change this later on. I do think that roads like this, avenues like this, are a good way, a good place to place uh, the the trams once we continue working with more public transportation. Let's make sure to not have anything here. Uh, I think that's that's gonna be fine. And again, we don't have any traffic. Whoever was not moving here is already moving in here. And now what we have to do is maybe continue this road here. I think that's going to be the best option. Uh, sure. And I think that's going to be it for now. Let's see, maybe we can do another... It's going to be too close. Let's do it like this. Right? I think that's fine. And well, so let's see what we can do in here. I think there's also more need for commercial. So what I like to do, again, this works a little better in City Skylines 1, just to have more walkways for people to come here. Right? Uh, again, unfortunately, this is a little bit of pain when things don't... Uh, connect and i think in here we can maybe put another parking i don't know how busy this one is um yeah i don't think it's 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 that busy so let's do let's do a little bit more of commercial so we're gonna do commercial 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 and a little bit of low density offices Again, so that the people that live here can work here. And I think this is also a perfect place to do just a little bit of medium density zoning. I think that's going to be a good idea. Right now, I think I'm only going to do... Uh, well, I don't think I'm going to connect them yet. Uh, I don't know if I want to connect these ones here or these ones here. That, that's one of the little challenges that uh, you get whenever you plot or you lay down roads that are either curved or they're in different angles than what we're used to. So in here, let's put just regular uh, medium density housing. And in here, and in here. And you know what? Let's see if we can do a little bit more of, let's see, one and two, or one here. Yeah, this is going to be fine. And we can wait one and two and put it here. And also we are going to put it here. It's gonna be great we're gonna have a nice nice road in here and this one sure and let's see let's try it again so we can get it a little bit more straight that's as good as it's gonna get that's fine i'm fine with that but let's make sure that we have this here there you go it kind of fits itself and yes i think this is gonna have to go this way Let's just make sure to delete this. 
and to make sure that there is no traffic lights to avoid any type of traffic in here and we're gonna do a little bit more of um, you know what we can do one square of high density Let, let's try to do that one big square of high density housing in this little area and we can do let's do mixed mixed housing in here and let's do high density housing in here and that's going to take care of all this demand for high density which is really really good but we are going to zone in here for commercial and mm, let's see i think i want to do we can do this also commercial we can zone this as commercial and maybe uh sure let's zone this as office space and now all our needs for offices as well as high density and not even medium density so we're back to needing medium density so let's add some more medium density again we have the space i don't see why not as well as low density and i think this is looking really really nice i know you're gonna ask you know why there's still a big grid right this is a big grid and this grid is going to continue here and more than likely is going to continue from here all the way here and here and again that's how a lot of american or uh, north american cities are like basically uh, especially the suburbs especially uh, like dallas houston austin that's how things are and that's how i like to model these cities these are more north american cities than uh, more imaginary cities basically and i think that works well for everybody before we leave let's see if we can add maybe another yeah we can add this plaza in here let's add a walkway and we can zone once again just the man went just up zone this as commercial and that's it i really wish we had the zones for example to do the tourism and the nightlife i think that that was really good in cities skylines one i hope they can do something like that uh it's it's very very uh needed and as you can see the demand for high density is still there so for our next episode we are gonna have to buy four more squares and we of course we have it all uh, i think it's actually gonna have to be six right or maybe we can do all these squares and maybe this one that way we can continue you know what sure we should do all of these right if we had the money of course um but i think maybe in the city we can do these four squares because we can continue the road in here so that's gonna be fine we can continue this road here that's gonna be fine and we can create a new road in here i don't think this is the road that maybe yeah maybe this will be the road that's gonna get um uh, an exit into the highway into the expressway so we'll see how that goes let's see what the issue is here one last thing before we finish this episode is to see how well we're doing in terms of fire and i think we do have to place let's place this one in here i think it's needed definitely needed and what about police station let's do a regular police station in here too and in the near future we're gonna want to place another welfare office um, maybe we can place them somewhere in here 
but we can do it in here right in this area so let's put a w in here just to make sure we have the wall for office in here that's gonna be just great again sometimes you know we spend a lot of time and we think that we don't spend a lot of time but we do and it's interesting because I feel like we didn't accomplish that much, but we did. We were able to grow our residential area. And I think we're going to continue these roads here because I don't think we're going to put anything else in here. Let's see what we can do. And I think that's going to be just beautiful. Just really, really nice. Of course, we have a lot of traffic here. Um, hopefully people start using this exit. And I think it's that's going to happen a little bit more once we zone all of this with a little bit more commercial and maybe row housing just because I don't want to have uh, taller buildings uh, that are not close to this area, which is developing or developed just really nice, right? You have all of these buildings that have, will change it of course, but that have a nice view into the bay and into this really nice central park i think that's just just beautiful and that's working really really well as you can see we really don't have big big issues with traffic traffic is flowing nicely in here again we still have to fix this intersection and i think a lot of these people are gonna have to uh be moved especially once uh we we fix all of this right and once we have the train, I think everything's going to be fine. We're just going to have to do an overpass for the rail tracks. And then we'll figure out if we're going to continue the railroad tracks uh, over the expressway. Because I don't think that's a bad idea. And maybe have another another train station in here. Uh, that's in the future, but it's, it's, going to be, it's going to be something to think about in this, in this little town. And this overpass, it looks bad, I know. We'll figure out a way to, to make it better. But right now, it's working beautifully. People are using this to cross because that's the best option for them. As you can see, it's very, very, very busy. And I think that's just wonderful. Again, there's a lot of traffic here, and I don't know why some people didn't stop. I think this car, yeah, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Uh, but we can always change things a little bit for example we can add another exit into this area i think that might help but overall i think it's working well and we need to change things a little bit more to make that work a little bit better and so i know we might have not done a lot or it feels like we didn't do a lot we really 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 did i hope you enjoyed this episode because I did. We grew the city, we upgraded the city, we keep having the challenges of adding more education, more uh, water pumps, and more roads, right? And I think in today we were successful at that. So again, I wanna thank you for watching and liking this video. Don't forget to leave your comments at the bottom and subscribe to the channel. We'll see each other on our next episode. Goodbye.